go further with the pages. You know me, I always like um, use everything. <laughs> so when I saw the leftover of the chipboard that you have also, um, I thought, well, why not use it? So what I think of was why not make a nice frame of it? So, so what I'm going to do, um, let's use the centimeters, that's for me easier. Let's see how, well, I think I'm going to make them um, one or, no, one is two locks. I'm going to make two, two centimeters. So I'm just going to make a line for two millimeters. Yeah. Oh, why not cut it right away? Let's do that. Let's cut it right away. Let's do that. And you can make them wider because I made a sample already. But I don't know if you like that thickness. So this one I'm going to make a little smaller. Let's see how that looks. I'm going to show you my sample. My sample is looking like this. I really like it. I don't know if, if I like the thickness, but you can. You can make that thickness and that is... This one is... Yeah. 2.7. Well, this is definitely a 1 inch. So, that's all up to you. And I'm going to make one with 2 centimeters. I see how that turns out just because it can so I'm going to cut it and if you want to wait with this then just skip it oh Diane you need to cut it straight 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 Ooh. I hope that was straight it is. That's why I'm going to continuing on this side. Oh yeah, you can, if you have a good cutter, you can cut this with your paper trimmer. These the leftovers are really very tiny, so I'm just going to use my knife. And we need one more. Yeah, and you can do a lot if you want. You can. But let's make first one and see how it goes. Hold it. Okay, now we still have these two left perhaps we, can, we need it perhaps we don't whatever but we need first these four so then you decide how long you want this I think I made this 15 yeah I made this 15 centimeters and so I'm going to do that again because I like that size so I'm going to cut this uh, 15 and I need two of course so let's cut this at and it inches that if for those you want to know that and five seven of an eighth inch okay so I have to go with this let me see this one now is a little Oh, it could be. Oh, why not? Let's make a different side. We can do that. This is not a bad size. This is pretty good. So we can make two of these. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. So yeah, I'm going to cut this also at 15 
Let's go crazy. Let's just do it. There we go. Okay, so we can make two frames. And you still have this. So you can even make... Yeah, you can still make three, three, um, three frames if you like. Anyway, let's start with the first one. Uh, I want to make a white frame, of course. I don't know if you are going to, if we can apply two on one paper, but let's see how that turns out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my first one. Hello. Hello and good morning. Oh, that was a little bumpy in the way. Yep, here we go. That was that little bump. Okay. Back to the start. So I'm going to glue the first one on and you don't have to be that. You don't have to be, you don't need that much, but let's see how this goes. Now what I like, I have to keep it straight. I move this and I keep it. And then grab the largest one and then I'm going to apply first the large one, if that makes sense to you. So then I know that I'm straight. that makes sense at all. I think it does. Now I'm going to skip these two and now I'm going to apply it. And then you have it nice and tidy. plenty of space to do another one so I'm just going to do another one yeah why not why not at all use these as guidelines Yippity, 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 yip, yip. Okay. Hey, that was my finger. That was pretty nice and tidy to each other. Oh yeah. Here we go. All right, that's that. And now, oh yeah, you can you can use this or your scissor or whatever. Let's use the scissors. Uh, blah blah blah. <laughs> Use the knife. Okay, that's one. Oh, I hate those chairs. Really does. It's almost lunchtime. And this morning I put up a soup for my girl because my girl is still a little ill. And gosh. That smells good. Really. Let's leave a little space from the corners like we always do. Okay. 
oh, 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 oh. there we go. But if you want to use your scissors, that's also possible. Everything is possible. It's your day. Okay. Now first we're going to do the outside. And again, I want to use my glue gun. This is not a glue gun, it's a tape gun. Yeah. Just going to all the way just to be. Same as the cover. First use your fingers and then just wrap it around. Wrap it around. Well normally I will do first the long side. Don't know why I now do the shorter side, but it's exactly the same. Now we are going to tuck in those corners, use a little wet glue, push it to the sides, there we go, burnish it down, okay. tuck in your corners, yeah, use some wet glue. Go with your fingers. Let's make a web song. And tuck it in. Oh yeah. Okay. Now, next thing what we want is I'm going to cut ooh, that from the corner to the middle. And then make, well, we don't need that long. Here we go. Ta da! Okay, now I really want a little extra tape on here. Bottom, 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 and I like some wet glue on here. I hope it is not drying too soon. Use your finger, go all the way, nicely attaching. And go to this side, use your tongue. Wrap it in. Yep, 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 yep. Here we go. Okay, when we have done this, you can be gentle. Pushing that paper to that chipboard. And I'm going to do that on the outside too. So we have a nice clean edge. Here we go. Okay. Pretty nice. Okay, so that is one. And of course, we can make another one. Okay, next thing, what we are going to do is first search one leftover piece. This will do. Need two. Well, here is also something used, so let's use that. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are going to fold it. First, 
first. The bottom. And let's see if I am going to make a smaller one for this piece. Okay, so that is the first base. And we are just going to do that together. So first I made one hinge at the bottom and then one at the sides. So let's fold it over. And on this side. Okay, so now we have one left. And like I always do, you can use going to make it a little smaller just a little so it don't come underneath so i'm going to make a mark and on that mark i'm going to make another hinge this so we won't have any bulk fold it and fold it so okay now this is done of course this is a little too long you can short that down with a marker down. Okay, so that is the base. Now I like um, a nice clean background. You don't have to do this, um, but I like that so the hinges are uh, covered up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a clear sheet. I think it's better to use a black marker, otherwise you don't see anything. So I'm going to cut this in the right size. There we go. And now what I like to do is slide this in here. Like that, yep, and then I'm going to glue that down. So lift this a little up. So I'm going to glue my hinges on that clear. Turn it over, keep it nice and steady. So you don't have any bulk. And now the bottom. There we go. That's that. So you have now a nice pocket like this. Now grab our frame and this is going to be on top. So later on you only have this. So you don't have that uh, hinge going in the way because we are going to glue our frame nicely on here. And we go all the way around on that hinges but also on the top on this one so it, it it's attached to that frame okay i think i better turn this around so i can see better so i can move a little so it's nice in the middle yep got it and then grab your bone folder and make sure your glue is on every spot so 
And when later on you want to glue this in your album, you have that nice background where you can slide, um, let's say, we have something. Oh, a small one. So you can slide your picture nicely in and out like this. That's the meaning. Okay? And you don't have that hinges going in the way. You can slide it all the way. That is the meaning. All right. So it's nicely tidy, you don't have to, can make any bulk in it, but a nice uh, background with a nice photo frame is perfect. And I think uh, later when we make that, I can make a nice um, white delicate tag that goes in and out. It's nice to pull out, in and out, and then make... Um, yeah, so the person can glue that photo on that tag that's nicely in and out. Because it's nicely tight. So yeah, okay, that is that. Let's make the other one too. But you get the picture. Um, and the decoration, I used for this one the leftover pieces from that wood. So I used this one to cover this one up. So I'm going to do that again with, with these two. I don't know if I'm going to use all, both of these, or perhaps I'm going to use this too. But anyway, just first use your leftovers. That is the meaning of all. Okay, so enjoy. <laughs> all right, and then these are looking like this. And I already put some white in, and I always can do that later with a nice decorative edge to be seen on top so it's easy to pull out in and out. So I will do the decoration on uh, the card that goes in here later but I thought this was fun to use first your scraps before going on. I like it. Cool. Yeah, perfect. Okay, up to the next. Hello and good morning. Um, let's grab a nice cup of tea and let's get started with the first page. And before I got started, I was thinking, making a kit, um, I really like to do, but it's very, very difficult. And um, not difficult in a way that to do pages or anything, but um, it's difficult because I like to use some extra uh, shapes like... Um, a, um, a die cut used um, or a edge point or a corner point and that's I know you guys don't have anything uh, everything I, I use so I was trying to figure out how I can solve that especially for a kit and um, for those who want to make exactly the same album as I did and that is the meaning of creating these kits and um, so I thought of something that maybe is handy and I did a little um, tryout and what I came up with is um, I create this shape and I cut out with my uh, brother scan and cut and I, you have a large one and a smaller one that fits perfectly one for the background cardstock and one for the design paper so that is what i'm going to use at least i'm going to try to use that and these shapes are really easy to uh, cut out yourself so that is what i'm going to try to use <laughs> so and this shape is really easy um, to use in so much uh, things in an album so I tried out a little so what about a nice edge you know that nice handle when you open a um, a page so you can add this on the side to a page really easy easy going and you can make uh, a nice um, pocket with a nice touch with this shape really awesome you also can make nice uh, tabs with these. 
really easy to do like this very easy and um, you also can make with the leftovers that you cut out you can make nice tags so um, yeah loads of possibilities with with just these shapes so I'm going to try it out for you guys and see how it works all and um, yeah so let's get into the first page and see what we are going to do okay so let's start with the first tunnel we made and uh, we are going to work on the f on yeah the <laughs> we are going to work on the first side of course you can also use the back side it's, it's the same blah 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 <laughs> okay um I'm, I'm for those who were used to follow my tutorials but for those who are new to me, I always try to do as less measurements as I possibly can. I'm terrible with measurements, especially writing them down and then gave it to you and always there was something wrong with it and um, I hate that. So I'm just going to try as less measurement as I possibly can. Just go with the flow, see what I do and just follow my tutorial and you will be okay really I'm going to try as slow as possible not boring slow so you go sleeping no but I'm going to try not to talk that much because yeah I get excited sometimes and I'm just going perhaps a little too fast for you guys so I'm just going to make it nice and easy okay so let's grab the first page I'm just going to use white and um, I want to add a left and a white page on this page. So this is, um, so the first thing I'm going to do is make that new page just a slightly smaller than our tunnel. Just one millimeter smaller. So I'm going to cut this first with my Fiskars Precision. Love it. And then I'm just going to grab my my scoreboard and I'm going to add a hinge so we can make that page. Now I want to do something underneath that page so I want a little more space between them. So I'm just going to make a hinge at a half inch. That's the first thing we do, just score at a half inch, but then that one eighth extra. We need that space. Okay, so that is the first thing we do. Now we're going to fold it. And that one eighth is always a little tricky, but we can manage. If we just being careful with folding that one, just using my hands and my fingernails. And when I am satisfied, I can, yep, I can burnish it down like that. Okay, now let's use that hinge um, score line to see. No, that is not correct. I want to use that score line from that 1 8. So, not use, see that? Not use the hinge score line, but that 1 8 score line to measure how far your page needs to go. So, make that flat. Line that up on the left side. And make sure that this is going to be nicely to this side. Yes. Now let's see what we're going to do. We can cut it. Or we can just fold it over. What shall we do? That's totally up to you. But perhaps we can fold it. Let's see how that goes. So I'm going to fold at that mark, not fold, make, first make, <laughs> first make, 
first make a fold line before we can fold it. And perhaps it's nice to do that 1 8 also. So let's say, let's make that 1 8 extra on the white side. So I scored at that mark and made a 1 8 on the left, on the right side. To still have that extra space beneath this page. So I'm going to fold it again, trying to keep it straight as possible. I'll make that one eighth. See what we got. Keeping straight. Yep. There we go. So we have a nice page with that one eighth inch nicely opening. You see that on each side. So that gives us the space when we attach this one. It gives us the space that we can do something underneath. I want, really want this to have straight and I see that it's not straight. Perfect. Yep, now it is. Now it is. Yep, it's straight, straight as hell. Okay, so that is the base. Now let's see what we can do with this. Now we're going to attach this on here. So let's do that first. So the easiest thing to do is that make that flat as possible, like this. So you see that one eight coming out of here. So that one inch. Uh, half inch is flat. That is the easiest way to attach this page. So I'm just going to add my arc glitter glue. You can use double sided tape or any glue you like. I just like my arc glitter glue because it dries really fast. That's why I keep getting my uh, metal needle back in stainless needle. <laughs> My mom told me the other day, does your needle rust also in your bottle? I said no mom, because that needle, that original needle, is a stainless one. Well, she said I lost it soon enough after I use it. You know me, yeah I know you. <laughs> so she grabbed a needle from her sewing supply, sewing supplies, <laughs> But that's not a stainless needle, so that is why it gets rusty, because this glue is water-based. So if you are not using a stainless needle for in here, then it gets rusty. So yeah, you need a stainless needle. Okay, so that is that for the first page, guys. And just move a little, and that's the one eight that needs a little movement but we can manage that yeah and I think it's pretty straight yep loving it so okay so this is the, the, the base on top of here and now we can do still a lot and I think I like this flap so we can make a nice photo frame on here and still can do something on here too. So that is nice. And we also can flip it like this. If I don't want it to the left side because this is the first page. And this goes in here. And now I was I am thinking a little further than my nose is. <laughs> And perhaps it's nice to do this on the right side. Hmm, okay. Yeah, why not? 
why not because i want something to do on top of here too so i think i want to keep it like this and not doing anything on this side but i want to make a big pocket underneath here i always like that so that is what i'm going to do first a nice big pocket on here so okay let's grab another piece of paper and um let's say how high do i want it to make this well we can cut that in a minute so let us first make a hinge let's make a hinge can measure from the left side to keep in mind that we want to keep away at least one millimeter from the first fold line on this side so making that mark and then on that mark we are going to make another fold line and then we can cut this shorter but keep that half inch hinge of course save this you can use it later on okay so that is that now now it's the time for me to decide if i want because i just told you that i want to use these um templates i just call it templates um to give it a little extra, how you call that, fanciness, a little extra touch, a little more to see uh, on an album than only a straight line. So now for me it's the time to work on this pocket. So I'm just going to move my page away for just a sec. And let's make a nice um, opening. Um, for a nice yeah touch okay so first thing what we need to do is okay let's see let's first grab some leftover pieces um, that we have mm, I think I'm going to use yeah let's first grab this piece I don't want to use it all But let's use first this one so I'm just going to make this what shall we do can we first make this completely the same no I'm just going to make this as normal as I normally will use that little edge okay so like this now the next thing what I like to do is move this up so this is equal so it's it it's actually exactly the same as I would use with a die mm -hmm. so now what I like to use is a clam so it stay there for just a sec because I'm not going to use a die I'm going to cut it myself so that is why I want to keep it steady okay so now grab i think the smallest one and i want to use uh, what shall we do yeah i want to use this piece okay so let's now you can decide oh perhaps it's better that we see what the middle is what's the middle the middle is about here that's my middle okay so let's see that is the middle now move down and see how deep you want this pocket to be you can use any shape of course uh, the round one or this one but i like to use this one so yeah, just see how deep you want it. I don't want it to be too deep, but 
Okay, so now I'm satisfied and just grab your pencil and draw that line. Here we go. That's that. And now I'm just going to cut it. Let's do that together. I'm just going to go cut on that pencil mark. I'm just going slow. I'm a terrible cutter. Just want you to make it nicely and need it to be cut. After you are ready with this cutting, you don't have to throw this away. That is how I created a nice tag with it, which I showed you earlier. So you don't have to waste any paper, you know me, just save it for later. Save it. Alright, that's that. If you have anything a uh, pencil mark on it, you can just erase it. Here we go. Now move your clips. And if you move this just a little lower, then you have a nice edge. I like that. Okay, how easy is that? That's pretty easy. Hope you can see that with the white. If I use black, you will see, you will see that edge easier. Easier. <laughs> oh my gosh, is that a word? <laughs> I don't know, but uh, you get the picture. So now I'm going to decide. Um, do I want this um, this this size, or do I want it a little smaller? I want this a little smaller. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this paper. Ooh, that's also a nice one. Um, so I'm going to cut this smaller and I want this, well, I'm just going to eyeball it, but for you guys I'm going to measure, um, let's say one centimeter or a half inch below that one. So that is totally up to you if you like that or not. So I cut this and now I'm going to smooth it. Really like this. I use my vintage photo for this paper. Really like that. And the meaning is also with this album, I'm really going to try to use as less other cardstock possible. Sometimes I use colored cardstock for nice photo frames, but then I always get so much questions on um, which color stock you need to use or anything like that. I think I'm gonna add this already. Um, I think I can. So I'm just going to add this already so I don't get loose of it. I'm going to use my clear glue just because this is not dry too fast and I want to wiggle a little till it's on its correct place. And for me that's the easiest way to pick it up and move it till I am satisfied. Yeah. Okay. I like it. And now later on, you also um, later on I'm going to decorate this, and you can make a nice. Um, um, yeah, you. You will see later uh, why I'm going to explain you guys. I'm going to do that together with you, of course. So now this is done for the moment. So I move away my stuff and just keep this. Keep, 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 keep it. And I always like to use a little clem so I don't get lost. And I always uh, 
do some, uh, if I have little pieces, I always like to cut little hearts of it. Don't know if I'm going to use it, but just save it for later. Save it for later. Okay. Um, well, can I move this little basket? Okay. And um, yeah, so let's grab our page back. And let's see. Let's move this little. I hate everything in one place. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it when everything is in my way. Okay. Go, 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 go. Yep. Here we go. Nice and clean. <laughs> okay, so where do we start? So I want this to go to the white. And now I'm going to apply that pocket. But of course it's too big, of course. But that is why I first made this and now I can perfectly see how deep I want to go this pocket. So what do you say? I don't want it too low or too high because I still want a nice background but we don't have to be that low. We can go a little higher because we have that nice space to make a nice tag in it. Okay, so let's decide. Yeah, I'm just going to add right here. So this is a little, yeah, a centimeter off. You're just going to eyeball it. All right, so yeah, ready, ready to go. To put this inside. Don't forget the bottom, otherwise you don't have a pocket, but then you have a tunnel. Oh yeah. Let's glue this in nicely on the left corner, straight on the bottom, to the left, uh, right, so we have plenty of space to move this opening. Yeah, let's burnish that glue down to that paper. Here we go, nicely. And now it's really difficult to see all that in white. Well, sometimes you say it's difficult to see in black. Well, in white it's also very difficult to see. You see it later when yeah, I put my design paper on. But anyway, this is the first page. And I like it. I like it with this big, nice pocket. You can make a nice um, yeah, little folio in it or a nice photo frame page. I always like that. Um, so yeah, cool. So let's see what else can we do with this page. A lot. It's not ready yet. No. Okay, next what I thought was, well, this is nice flat. So this is nice. So on top of here, I will do not any bulk. But we have this opening. So I can do something in here or here. But I always like pockets. I like pockets. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what I'm going to do is I want to make, I don't know yet, if perhaps two pockets or one big. What do you think? I think two small pockets will be perfect on here. So let's do that. Let's first see if I have some leftover pieces. I do have a lot of leftover pieces, so why not use it all? Well, let's see. This one could work. I think these two ones are just perfect. Yeah, why not? Okay, so. Let's make these equal. Oh, they are equal. Oh my gosh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes, and how deep are they? They are, for you guys, they are eight. Eight centimeters and in inches they are, I really love this, but it's very difficult to see. Now I wish I used black cardstock, but okay. I'm still loving it. 
this is 318 inch but use your leftover pieces guys i can't say that enough use your leftover pieces okay let's make some noise let's make some pockets okay let's create first on each piece the hinge why i'm talking that crazy i don't know i'm really excited today really i'm feeling a lot better than the last week especially yesterday and yeah then i get my vibe back and i'm getting back to my comfort zone and then i'm happy 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 yeah 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 okay so line it up with the first fold line stay away about one millimeter and then just make a mark on this piece yeah and you can do the same thing on this one too or make exactly the same but stay away make a mark and let's make a fold line on that mark yep here we go and here we go Ooh, stay away with that paper you can use a scissor or your cutting machine sometimes it's easier because this does not have to be that straight nope 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 it can be but it's not not necessary all right Fold this on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so now we have created two pockets. Now, before I'm going to glue it down, this on the bottom, and then this, and then before I'm going to glue that down, I like these two pieces just a little equal. But before I'm going to do that, yeah, 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 you get the picture. I want to add a little extra on that too. So let's do that together. So let's, I'm just keep sticking with my leftover pieces before I cut anything else. So what we are going to use, what we can, oh gosh, I love this one. I love it. Why not use two of these so cool yep i want to do that i want to do that i just love it just going to cut these two in half here we go and hmm. Okay, which side do we want? I, uh, if I don't want an incision, then you don't have that flower. So I'm going to flip this over. And this one is a little uh, wider than the flower one. So that is perfect. So just line this up. Cut it. Mm. Also nice for a nice <laughs> little heart to cut out. I'm crazy. Yes! I know, I know, I know, no, I really like this flower on this side, so let's cut it, and you know the drill, what I just showed you, but I think later in that video I'm going to do that less, so you can skip that, but let's do that one more time, so what I do is just assume that I'm going to apply this with that nice white edge. Move your design paper at the same height as your white. Okay, let's clamp it. Put a nice clamp on. Keep this straight. Okay, uh, so I have a, a little nosy thing. Okay, so um, I think I'm going to put the smallest one and yeah, we can do, we can do now this one if we like. What do you say? Yeah, I like it. Like, 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 like it. I like it. So I'm just grabbing the smallest one again. 
Again, I like to see what the middle is. Definitely have to do that first, but we can manage. Yes, we can manage. That's right there. Okay. What's the middle of there? And it's not particularly special, but it's just a guideline, just a little. And I don't know how deep do we want this to go. Um, I don't want this too deep because it's a small pocket. But just a little with that curve, I think I like. Yeah. And you also can measure this afterwards, but I think I'm, I'm pretty good. And that is, yeah, that's good, girl, you did it good. Okay, let's just draw the line. Keep it steady. Here we go. Yeah, good. Now we can do that with the other one too, of course. Oh yeah, of course, and I need another clam. But I just wanted to show you that you can keep this nicely. Perhaps you can do this. Oh yeah, oh, perhaps, I don't know. Let's try that. Perhaps you can cut these. At the same time, ooh, <laughs> girl, what do you do? I don't know. I'm just going to try it out. I'm a lazy cutter, so <laughs> why not cut this? So what, the reason why I do this is that you have um, exactly the same size. Use those clips, Diane. Use those clips. Okay, so now just move this to here. Go here. And then just move one clip away to this. Um, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> you need that. What you just draw of course on top girl 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 you are crazy 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 i know i know i think the more i do this now under go under I think the more you do this, the more comfort comfort you get. But for now, it's just a little. And on camera, guys, I'm on camera. You will all see me struggling with this. <laughs> yeah, now I'm perfectly. Oh yeah, this is nice. So I'm wondering how this looks if I cut these off at the same time. Now, fingers crossed. If it does not work. Then I have to do it all over again, and I will never do it again, but I always like to try it out. You know I am a try-out person. Uh, you know I am. Just going to cut these nicely with that edge. Nice thick. I don't know if I have the good scissor for it, but we can manage, we can manage. Last piece, keep it all together. Now, like I said, save these. All right. Let's see how we go. Well, this works nice. Oh yeah. Let's 
smooth those edges. Perfect. And then this one. Oh yeah. It's not a very clean cut, but after you smooching it, you will not notice. I always can switch these just a little. Yeah, I think it's better to do that. Yes, I'm doing this with a file, guys. <laughs> Why not? Better. All right, so yeah. I like it. Okay, so I'm just going to glue that on. I like, like, like it. What do you think? Yeah, now we only need uh, an extra piece under here. But, yeah, cool. Let's glue it on. So I don't mix these two up. it on its place where you want it. I oh gosh I like it. It's really easy. And yeah I know this takes a little extra time but guys it really is worth it. Guys you will see at the end that a little extra decorative touch will do. I think I will not do the same. I think I'm just going to cut these separately. Well, it's okay, but I really like. But I need a little cleaner cut. Uh, cut. So the next time I'm just going to cut two pages, not four. Girl, what was you thinking? But I like them. Cool. Okay, let's move these away. And um, yeah, you can use the leftover pieces, of course. I'm just going to do that in a minute. Okay, where's my page? Here's my page. Here we am. Here we are. Here we are. Let's. Oh, yep. Now I like these in here. Now the first one is very easy. Let's glue it in. Don't forget the bottom. There we go. Nicely start at the right corner. Then the bottom. And then burnish it down. And now the second one, um, yeah, you can eyeball it. Uh, so this piece is a little uh, equal. Doesn't have to be perfect, guys. It really does not matter if you are missing a few millimeters. Just eyeball it. And if you want to measure it perfectly, you can. I'm just going to eyeball it. So, staying on the right position. Just see if this is a little equal. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just eyeball it. Then go to the left. And then burnish it down. There we go. So cool. I really 
like that. Oh yeah. So, so yeah, we have this, 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 this space now used, that one eighth space for the pocket. So that is not going to be in the way. I think I will leave this for a nice photo frame. And then when this is closed, we still can have, we still can do a lot on top of this. So um, what I was, what I have something in my head with these four pages, well eight actually, but the four pages, I want to do the front uh, with a lot of activity. So a nice big thick page and I first going to do all the big pages to see how it goes with my design paper and then see on the back if it needs uh, a flat page or a thick page. So that is the, the planning. So first we're going all the pages on the front of the tunnels. So that is the meaning. But let's go on this page. Let's see what we can do on here. Oh, right. I have something in my head. Ooh, cool. <laughs> Anyway, um, let's see, let's first, well, first thing what I did was uh, cutting out um, the cardstock template and one of my leftover pieces, folded double and cut out design papers. And, um, but we come back to that, but that, 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 that I did first uh, because I wanted to do something with that. I want to make an eye catcher. Um, so, Next thing what I'm going to do is just grabbing another leftover piece and let's say because I want this right here, you know, I think this is high enough for a nice pocket. Um, yeah, let's cut this at seven, seven centimeters and that is two three fourth inch and you don't have to be exactly the same but it's just about okay let's make a measurement a measurement let's make a hinge yeah girl we make a hinge not a measurement a hinge 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 yeah and uh, let's apply that on the left side and make another mark on here. And uh, let's make another hinge. Okay. Let's cut this a little shorter. Fold it back. And there we have this piece and this we're going to apply on top of here um, blah, 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 yeah with no any any fussy cutting anything just a simple pocket let's apply this don't forget the bottom can't say that enough I did that mistake enough trust me <laughs> Okay, so let's glue this simple pocket on this page nicely. There we go. Okay, so that is a pocket. Um, grab another piece of paper and cut it exactly the same size as the pocket. Can do just a little slightly a millimeter smaller. It's always better, better than bigger. Okay, let's make a hinge. Oh yeah, let's make a hinge. You are gonna, gonna guess what the meaning is. Yes, 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 yes. We are going to see how far this goes 
if I apply this on the top of this page and then I'm just going to stay away one millimeter and I'm just going to cut it oh. Oh, hi. how easy is that that is pretty easy yeah so this will fit perfectly on here so we still can do something with that pocket that is cool okay now before I'm going to add this on here I'm going to do something on top of this oh yeah let's go wild <laughs> okay now the meaning is that I want something with the eye catcher thing so what I want is um, I want one on this side and one on this side like this and I want these to flip open so you can do a nice picture on the bottom of this so what we're going to do is well I already cut these out fully and what I want is if you are on these corners you can make a nice fold line now let's see how yeah, we can make these bigger if you want but I just want a little space in between so I think yeah that's enough because if I want it on this stage then they will bump into each other and that is not what I like so I am going to use the large the large the largest corner to make a nice fold line so I'm just adding now well, let's give this straight line that I added on my Martha Stewart scoreboard so this I'm going to fold it back and then we have this piece so I'm just going to do that exactly the same on this one here we go so this is actually now a hinge Ooh. how easy is that that is freaky easy so we can apply this wherever we want this oh 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 the hinge is up <laughs> okay so now what i like to do is just adding this and i'm just going to eyeball this that this is the middle but if you want to use your measurements then use your measurements I'm just going to eyeball it and that's our hinge here we go now do exactly the same on the other side I'm just eyeballing it also in the middle design paper now we can cut it down with that edge perfectly how wide we want that now I'm going to make two marks and I'm just going to cut it that's the reason why I make two marks so I am exactly good and this is a leftover I don't think that I'm going to use it no I won't Throw it away, guy. I'm so terrible on throwing away design paper. <laughs> yeah, you know I am. I am terrible. Okay, let's. Oh, this is also a nice one. Oh my gosh, I can't choose. Well, this is not. No, nope, nope, nope. Just use this. Oh my gosh, I really love this one. Oh, I can't choose. 
do you think? This is also a nice one. No, no, Diane, stick with, stick with it. <laughs> well, anyway, if you're going to use exactly the same design paper, you can choose. Options, options. There are always nice options. Okay, so let's apply this on here. Exactly on the other side to move it around. Just have a nice white edge. Grab your pencil and make a line. Mm. And then you can cut it. Cut, 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 cut it. Smooch the edges. And this chair is also noisy. Well, then you know that I'm not sitting still. <laughs> I'm not sitting still. Hilarious. Told you this is going to be an art crafting day. Yes, it is. It is. It is. Yeah. But you know me. I'm crazy. Okay. Oh my gosh, I really like this page. This is looking awesome, don't you think? This is so cool. So yeah, of course you don't see this, the, these hinges when you are putting your design paper underneath here for a nice photo. And um, I don't want to do anything on the back. You can, you can cut another design paper, but I don't want to do that because I still want a little space for journaling so that is why i do not do that but you can maybe i will do that later but for now i will leave it and um yeah what else i want this to close of course so what you can do is put a nice string on it let's see one i want to use um, yeah i really want to use this one so let's I really like the burlap. So cool. Fits perfectly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a nice round one right here. And here. Let's see. Now oh, yeah. You don't have to be exactly using a eyelet, but you can. You can, you can. It's a nice finishing touch, I believe. I believe. I believe. Oh, yes. It's a nice finishing touch. Here we go and then we can close this down with the string and boop, 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 boop. let's see how much do we need for a nice ribbon closure I don't know I don't know how much do we need for a nice closure I always am the worst of that Let's see. Uh, uh, um, this we need. Oh, let's cut it like this. I think it's. How wide is this? 20. Let's measure this. This is. Yeah, 30, 35. So if I cut this in two, oh my gosh, I hope I could do it correctly. And what if I put these in here? Now I like it double. You know I like it. I like, 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 I like it. I think I have enough done. Oh yeah, I have. Oh yeah. Cool. Oh, 
Uh, it's plenty. <sighs> like it? It's so cool. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect eye catch. Where was my page? Here was my page. Now it's ready to glue this in. Oh my gosh. And then the fun part starts with decoration. And if you put your decoration paper on, then all is coming to uh, its perfect look. So move this. Stay attention that you don't overlap this pocket. Here we go. Open this up. Burn it down. Awesome eye catch. Yeah. A nice picture underneath here. You can put a picture on here. And then this is still a pocket. Yep, 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 yep. And if you are doing a pocket um, like this, you still can make a nice, um, let's say, a nice little, um, how do you call this? Uh, tag. A nice little tag to keep that page closed. You don't have to use any magnet. So, yeah, you still can do that. And you still can um, put the tag underneath. Also, so you first open this up and then put the tag out and then open the page. Blah, 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 blah. It's all magic. <laughs> oh, did I tell you? Anyway, um, there is in the kit a nice sheet of tags. And I did also, I did already cut out all my pieces. And there is a sheet with all these nice butterflies. Uh, I put them downstairs nicely in the evening. Uh, watching my series and put and I cut out all these nice butterflies so so nice so I'm going to use them later of course during the tutorials so I already did that so if you want so if you are going to see me using a butterfly then I just fussy cut them first for you so you don't have to see me fussy cutting all the butterflies oh right um yeah what do you think I like it like 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 it um what else do we need well this goes up and then we have this pocket we like to do some nice decoration on and then this goes to the right and then we have this pocket so i think it's time well we have a big pocket we have two smaller pockets and then we have here a pocket so yeah i think on this page we have plenty of pockets for now and I think it's time to do some decoration. What do you think? Yeah, let the magic begin. Cool. All right. So, um, yeah, I know you guys wanted to see me to do the decoration. Um, what shall I do? Shall I do it with the music on the background? Because that takes a long time. Now yeah, let's do that. Or I can brabble along with you guys. That's also a possibility. What do you want? Oh, well, at this time I don't know what you want. Hmm. Let me first grab a new cup of tea because it's empty. All right, let's get back soon.
let's have a quick walkthrough to the page I just uh, decorated. And um, so yeah, let's let's talk about it. Okay, so the first thing you see is that I used um, some ribbon and a lace kind of ornament, and I used my hot glue to put these nice shiny crystals on. Then I put this green butterfly on. I did not glue all the way to the ribbon so you still can add just a little tags if you like and then I open I can open this up so you still can have white a little sentiment on the back of this then this tag is the wheel stopper of this page and here I did uh, made a frame of my leftover pieces glued this kind this piece of uh, design paper on glued a butterfly on the bottom so I think it's a nice frame and I did not glue all the way the butterfly so if you want to add a nice photo on here you still can type, uh, add this underneath this butterfly then I add this paper on the back for the pocket you still can uh, add a, a nice leather thing if you like or a picture frame or pictures in it so you still can add in this pocket this tag is only for a stopper to keep this page closed okay so then you close this all up to keep these flaps closed like that put this back in here then you flip this to the right and then we have on the left side I create just a little incision with a leftover piece of this wooden paper uh, so I created a nice pocket and like I said if you cut out my templates you keep uh, and if you keep what you cut out you still can make lots of nice tags with it so easy to do and uh, really the, the nice little uh, extra pieces I always well not always but most of the time I cut out uh, a few little sentiment I do have a little uh, some few little uh, punch things punches if you don't have them don't worry um, you can still uh, use these little things um, then in this big pocket I made a big tag. I already used some decoration paper because I want I don't want to I want to keep I don't want to keep it white because that was boring. I also used a leftover piece for this nice element for this big tag. This slides back in. The pocket needs a little um, needs a little the paper needs to work a little so it's 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 going to be easier when you pull this in and out. Then on the left side, I put some decoration paper on, but I did not glue uh, these top pink ones. So you still can add little tags or little writing notes in it if you like. So that is what I did on this page. Then you flip it over and then I did exactly the same thing on this. Um, if you want to add a photo and not glue it down, what you... Um, if you don't want to glue your photo down, you still can add this photo in this frame. You can move it up and down if you have a nice bigger photo, so that's easy to work with. Then here we have two pockets. I did not create any tags for it just yet, but there is a possible possibility to make these, to put some nice tags in here. So that is the first page, guys. How do you think? It is. I really like it. I really do. I really love uh, the colors, the brown, the green, the pink. I just love it. Okay, so up to the next piece.